Paris Perspective. It's kind of paradoxical because on the one hand, we're also the country of enlightenment, you know, with people like uh, Voltaire, for example, were really uh, adamant to have this uh, penalty uh, abolished. And yet, every time, for the same old reasons, if I may use, this, use the expression, like a, a horrible murder. Mm. It happened, for example, at the beginning of the 19th century and again the 20th century. So every time there was a big debate that could have led to the abolition, something much more emotional uh, became more powerful in that than, than reason, mm. even though they were supposed to be the country of enlightenment. Uh, so uh, that's why it took so long. And of course, we have also to bear in mind the uh, influence of such authors as uh, uh, Camus, Albert Camus, sure. for example, uh, Victor Hugo before him, of course. So it is a, a kind of paradox that we have on the one hand a tradition, a very long tradition of uh, abolitionists, mm -hmm. and on the other hand, um, a population that was deeply attached to a, publish to a punishment that is really in the spirit of an eye for an eye. Yes. So I don't know how much religion um, uh, took part, if you like, in, in, in this... Uh, um, kind of, uh, yeah, an obstacle, if you like, for, for abolition. Yeah. But it is mainly, I guess, related to uh, terrible murders, especially when it is children mm. after kidnapping, things like that. Usually it is uh, the only answer that people have in mind, or in their heart, I should say, yeah. revenge, much more than justice. Yeah.